Welcome back to the garage. Today, I've got something a little bit different. This is a server motherboard. Came out of a Dell PowerEdge R710 server. Now, there's not much of value here. This server was the unfortunate victim of a water leak. Now, we all know that water and electronics don't mix. And when you get water, on something like this the magic smoke is released and it is a motherboard no more it is bound for electronics recycling now I could save these CPUs they're probably okay the water hit down here in the iDRAC and power area that iDRAC is most certainly toast though but the CPUs might still be good but there's really not a, exactly a lot of demand for Xeon, what is this, uh, 5308. This is going to become wall art. I just thought it might be nifty to have something kecked looking up on the wall. I haven't quite decided. I think I want to mount it that way. But then the Dell logo would be upside down, so it almost makes more sense to mount it this way because technically this is the front of the server on this side but unfortunately I'm limited by the back now the back of it has this big heavy chunk of aluminum but it's got these shapes on it here that are just about perfect for mounting so my intention will be to hang it upside down that's okay. The plan is going to be to just come up with a strip of wood out of my scrap pile. Have hopefully three screws through it at the right heights to basically catch a nail head or a screw head coming out of these three areas. And it'll hang like that. So let's go to the old scrap bin and see what I got. Well, the scrap pile is kind of slim right now on things in the correct size, but what I came up with are these pieces that came off the old Jeep seats and a couple of random battens here. These are not quite what I need, so I think I'll stick with the old Jeep parts. I love recycling. I certainly would hate to waste scrap wood. These feel like they were pine. They're a little bit gross, but I think I can clean that up and get something useful out of them. Wow, look at that. Pulled those straight out of the junk. And maybe if I just do a quick wire wheel on these, those will fit perfectly right there. So I'll be able to measure out exactly where those need to go. I'll clean this guy up just a little bit and we'll put these through in different places and I'll just slice off the excess and that'll be perfect for hanging this well I guess thinking ahead on this thing it is kind of heavy so I probably want to mount this hanger on a stud and then hang the motherboard onto this so to do that, I think I'll clean that up, figure out where I need to mount that here. Then I'll use this other one. Hmm. It's almost centered. I'll probably attach these two together and that'll give me a hanging point down here at the bottom and then maybe two up here and I can shoot a couple of screws through top and bottom down here and that'll keep it nice and sturdy though I guess I'll have to be pretty sure about just where I want to put that because it'll be semi-permanent I guess erasing your fingerprints sounds kind of neat until you realize you need your fingerprints as one of the factors to get back into the data center. So I'm not going to make that mistake again.
if you went to all this trouble to do this setup with dust collection, it helps if you actually turn on said dust collection. Those look a lot nicer. Considering they were sitting outside for at least 20 years, I think they're doing okay. Back to the bench. All right, my initial thought was have three screws, but since I've now decided to put one down here, I think we'll just do two. Thirteen and a half inch spacing. Yeah, we're just gonna pretend like that's perfectly accurate. No, it's actually pretty close. Well, that's not supposed to happen. Off by one sixteenth. I'll fix that in final adjustment. It is way too cold out here for this, but the material's preheated, the shellac is preheated. We'll seal these up. Well, I thought I would shellac them just to kind of seal them up because they've been outside for 20 years, but um, that wood is so dry that it pretty much soaked all of that up. I don't know if I feel like doing three or four coats. My expectations were low, so I was not let down. There, ish. Some fine adjustment on the height. just about locks into place. Normally the thought of iron filings anywhere close to a piece of server grade hardware would make me cringe, but in this case, it's already dead.
All right, and there is our basic hanger. One more screw for stability. Final fit here. It locks right into place and it'll be held in place by gravity. kind of neat reuse of an otherwise dead junk motherboard. Thanks for watching.